Sri Lanka officially has a new president in Aruna Kumara Desanayake. He will become the next president of the island nation. The election commission has announced the result after the poll body had to take preferential votes into consideration, something that has never happened before in Sri Lanka. Now, according to reports, the president-elect will be taking oath on Monday at the presidential secretariat. The 55-year-old took to social media, thanking all voters for his victory, his reaction. Well, this is what he said. The dream we have nurtured for centuries is finally coming true. The victory belongs to all of us. The result was determined during a preferential vote count after no leader crossed the 50% mark. In the first round of votes, Anurakumara Desanayake secured a vote share of 42.31%. Sajid Premadasa trailed at 32.76%. In Sri Lanka's election system, voters can either mark one candidate on their ballot or rank three candidates in order of preference. If no candidate gets 50% or more of the vote, a second round of counting factors in the preferences of voters whose first choice did not make it to the top two. Counting is underway amid, the, amid tight security. The Election Commission has been praised for holding what many observers described as the most peaceful presidential election. The election was widely seen as a referendum against Rajapaksha's successor, Ranil Vikramasinghe, while he restored some stability through austerity policies backed by the International Monetary Fund. Sri Lankans were largely upset with several of his measures, which included tax hikes that left millions struggling to make ends meet. And it's celebrations galore in the JVP camp after party leader Anura, Aruna Kumara Desanayake won the election. Our correspondent Asuni Athoda gets us some reactions from Colombo. Take a look. Really, we feel very happy about this, about this winning. The, 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 we, have, we want to celebrate, really, we want to celebrate this winning, okay, because since long time we have been waiting for this time, this early. So finally we did it. So at the end of the day, what we need is, we need a clean country. We need, we are, what we are expecting is, that is the thing. We need a clean country without corruption and without drugs and without anything. We, because of our generation, we need a beautiful country for the generation. And what we need is, we need to develop all this country. Okay? And we, the people wants to live their life very peacefully. Okay? And law and order to be follow up as per the rules. Okay, and without any problem to the people. 